Biden has spent more than half his life immersed in U.S. politics. I want to look back now at his path to the White House and his strongest bid yet for the Oval Office. After half a century in politics, Joe Biden has never been closer to the top job. This is the most important election of our lifetimes. This race marks his third attempt running for president. It ain't over, man. We're just getting started. At 77 years old, a victory would make Biden the oldest person ever elected as commander in chief. America deserves a president who understands what people are going through. His political path, though, largely began when he was first elected to the Senate for Delaware in 1972 at the age of 29. Tragedy struck just a month later when his first wife and baby daughter died in a car accident. He was sworn in at the hospital as his two toddler sons recovered from serious injuries. Biden would be elected six times to the Senate before winning the vice presidency in 2008. He would serve two consecutive terms in the White House as Barack Obama's right-hand man. The best vice president America's ever had, Mr. Joe Biden. In 2015, another deep personal tragedy for Biden, the loss of his son, Beau, to brain cancer. His other son, Hunter, though, would be the focus of his opponents during this race. The mayor of Moscow's wife gave your son three and a half million dollars. What did he true. do to deserve it? That is not true. Biden has consistently tried to position himself as a ready and steady alternative to what he calls the chaos of the Trump administration. What is on the ballot here is the character of this country. Decency, honor, respect, treating people with dignity. Now voters must choose between two White House veterans and two deeply competing visions for the country's future.